next project I want to work on is the, the gel coat on it. What's up everyone? Today I'm working on my Sea Ray. Prepping it for the 2022 boating season. I just hooked up the water feed to it. That way I can start it at the house. And there is water absolutely pouring out of the front, out of the water pump cover. So I don't know if the water pump had water in it over the winter and it froze and now it's cracked. So I'm about to go start stripping it off the boat. So we'll see what it is. So this is the front. I already took the water pump pulley off, but you can see down here, there's water just dribbling out of it. It looks like it's coming out of the water pump weep hole. I gotta finish taking it off to see what's going on. So all this stuff came off two years ago when I refreshed this motor. I, I basically stripped this whole motor down, cleaned it, measured everything. Um, Actually, I didn't replace anything because everything was still within tolerance. And then I just uh, regasketed it and put it all back together. So this has a fresh gasket on it. it. Might be kind of a pain to get off. I'm hoping that maybe there's just a, free, a freeze plug or something down here. It looks like it's coming out of the weep hole though. So. probably gonna be a gush load of water come out of here because I just filled the whole thing but and yeah that's a lot of water So that's the weep hole that all the water was pouring out. So I guess the water pump is bad. There doesn't look to be any cracks or anything. And this was sealed on there good. Cause like I said, it was a brand new seal. So I guess I need a water pump. Hopefully it's just a GM water pump that I can get from the, it's got a bunch of numbers on it. Hopefully I can just get a replacement GM water pump from Napa or AutoZone. It's not a big deal. So this is the water pump that came off the motor. It spins very freely. You can spin it and it continues to rotate. Um, that essentially is telling me that the mechanical seal in there is completely shot. This is the new water pump that I ordered. And this new water pump, it doesn't spin freely. There's some resistance there um, with a good seal. And you can see them side by side. This is the new pump. It should be an exact replacement for this. Looking at them side by side, I, I think it's the exact same pump. And it came with a gasket, and I can tell right now that the gasket pattern is exactly the same. So I'll use a razor blade to start scraping this off, and then once I get most of it off, I'll just use a piece of uh, fairly coarse steel wool, and that will take the rest of it off. cleaned up and I just wiped down any uh, grease that was on it with uh, a little acetone or degreaser to get that off. <clears throat> so I always use this Permatex high tech gasket sealant. It's a very sticky gasket sealant that comes in a can uh, and what you do is you brush it on and it gets tacky and then you can push your, your paper gasket in place and it seals it. I've never had anything ever leak when I've used this. The only thing that's frustrating is the gaskets get adhered to the block, so the only way to get them off is to scrape them. But I'm gonna use it because I don't want this water pump to leak. That 
right there is why I like this stuff. That gasket is held in place. I don't have to monkey with it. It's exactly where it needs to be. There's no chance of me ripping it because it's all held in place. I can just put a little coat on this side and then when I put the water pump in, everything's going to be lined up and it'll be nice and sealed all the way around and it will not leak at all. For the bolts that mount the water pump to the block, they're all blind holes so they don't go into the water jacket. Um, I have this Permatex Aviation Forma Gasket from when I did the head bolts on this motor because those do go into the water jacket and you have to seal them. So this stuff is meant for sealing fasteners that go into like water backed stuff or in aviation applications. I think they use it to seal fuel tanks and stuff like that. So I have it, I'm gonna use it. You could use an anti-seize uh, in, in a normal application. Water pump pulley needs to go on next. Got to make sure you get it fed around the belt properly. Just to slip down through there. Two bolt hole patterns on the water pump. So you can see right here the holes don't line up. You have to turn it until you get the set that fits whatever size pulley you have. So now it's just a matter of putting in these four bolts. I have lock washers underneath them so these, should, these shouldn't come loose. It shouldn't be a problem. So that's snugged up. I'm gonna put the belt on and then I'll do the final tightening on that after the belt is secured. It should help. Alternator bracket is down where it needs to be. So I just gotta get this on. And then tighten that up. There's a bolt back here to cinch up to keep all that tight. And that water pump is installed. MC Outdrives, they have an adapter block that you buy that has a fitting on it. And you just screw a water hose right onto it, and that way you don't have to get bellows out. And you can't even actually use bellows on this motor. The vent, the suction port is up under here, so you can't put bellows on it. A, a Merc Cruiser has it down here, you put bellows on it, but this you can't put bellows on. So you have to have that fitting. So I can hear the block filling up with water. So far there's nothing dri dripping out the front. So I think we got it taken care of. All the water's coming out of the tattletales in the back. So yeah, I think we got that covered. So there's that fuel filter I put in a little while ago. Let's see if we can get this motor started.
The next project I want to work on is the, the gel coat on it. up at a later date. 